Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station, and we bring the news to you. Today's news is the second recipe video that I'm doing today, and it is a crisp, cool day in October. This is Friday, late in the afternoon, and I'm doing the second video, and I'm going to show you um, what I'm doing. I've got I've got it started so we can just go ahead and zip through it and it won't be such a long video. So here we go. Let me turn the camera around. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to be making is sugar-free jello. And I got this recipe from a YouTube channel called Keto Naturopaths. And that is a man named Carl. And he is the Keto Naturopath and his wife Judy made this recipe so I'm going to show it to you. I've made it already once and I posted a picture on my Food Faith and Friends page on Facebook so I said I would make the recipe in a video and I'm just getting around to doing that. So we are going to make sugar-free jello and what we use to make the flavoring because you know if you look at the jello boxes um, at the store there's so many artificial ingredients and colors and just things you don't want to put in your body. So Judy showed how to make it with pure ingredients and we're going to do that too here. And I'm going to show you what we're going to use for flavoring and it's amazing that I never would have thought of this. But we are using raspberry zinger tea bags. Isn't that, I just thought that was ingenious. There's all kinds of flavors. Uh, of herbal teas and this is the one that she picked that she likes the best so it's the one I bought as well so what you do is boil get to boiling two cups of water and you put two tea bags in a bowl and then you pour the boiling water over the tea bags and let them sit for 10 minutes so that is what I've done so far so let me put this right here and there we go. There's our, let's put it where you can see it. There is the bowl with the tea bags. So I'm going to go ahead and look how dark that is. I mean, that looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and take those out and squeeze them. I don't want to squeeze them too hard. I've been known for popping a tea bag and letting the leaves out. All right. What you want to do next is sweeten it. So we're not using sugar and I have my stevia uh, the clear stevia liquid i'm going to put a little shot of that in there let's see oh i'm getting low put you know just some drops of that in there and just stir that up a little bit and then i have lacanto sweetener which is erythritol this is the granulated and um if you've used this before um, it works really well as a sweetener. Some people, some folks are, um, erythritol might bother their stomach. It doesn't mind. I think I have a cast iron stomach. But anyway, I'm going to put a little over, well, about two tablespoons of that. With the stevia, I like to mix them. And um, just make sure that gets nice and dissolved. We're going to stir that in. Look how pretty that is. I mean, you can hear the granules <laughs> as it gets stirred in. And that will dissolve pretty well. It doesn't take too long. And that is Raspberry Zinger Celestial Seasonings. Happens to be the brand. Uh, tea bag, again. Sweet Leaf Stevia is the brand that I use. Um, and... Lacanto, erythritol. There are different brands of that that you can buy as well. The next ingredient, of course, what we need to make jello is going to be the gelatin. So I have the Knox gelatin. I think most people are familiar with that. You can also get a Walmart brand. Um, I think they work fine the same. So what you do is take the envelope, which will be one tablespoon of the gelatin. And we're just going to, let me take the spoon out, just going to um, sprinkle that across the top. Kind of try not to get it like so that it's clumped on top itself. 
too much. It feels like it's more than a tablespoon, but it's really not. <laughs> Put that and then you just want to let that sit just for a minute or two there we go and I'm just gonna let that sit and I'll be right back okay that's been sitting just for a minute or so and then you just want to kind of get that mixed in and incorporated into your jello and this was what I thought I found to be a little the most difficult thing because you want to really get it mixed in good. The jello is still warm. You want to get all that gelatin kind of incorporated incorporated in with the raspberry. So let's stir that in. There we go. That's getting stirred in pretty good. A couple little blobbies. If you don't get all the blobbies, you know, that's okay. You can just, they'll just kind of float on the top. But I'm going to try to get all of it in there. And you want to kind of get rid of the bubbles because you'll see those when it's when it's finished and then we're just going to put this in the fridge um put it in overnight or you can put it in you know for what four or five hours it'll be done because even as we've been you know doing this it has the water's cooled down quite a bit so i think that's pretty good i'm going to take that and i'm going to put that in the refrigerator and there we go. That will set up in the fridge. And through the magic of video, ta-da! <laughs> There's the one I did this morning. <laughs> so we're going to have two bowls of Jello, And I just wanted to show you, that is real true Jello. Look at that. Real true Jello. That is amazing. And I'll show you. I'll even put a spoon in it so you can see how nice it's going to be. And, um, whoops. I'm sure we're going to enjoy that later. I'm going to make some whipped cream. There we go. Look at that. Totally and completely perfect jello. Raspberry jello. So that was a simple <laughs> that was a simple recipe. And I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's just wonderful that we can make something for a dessert, for a treat, for a snack. And um, there we go. And it's sugar free. And it's wonderful. So you don't have to go buy those little cups of Jello that might have things in that you don't want to put in your body and dyes and colors and who knows what. Anyway, this is the Jello that we're going to be eating, and I can't wait, wait to get <laughs> can't wait to get some of it. Look at that. Okay, perfect Jello. Alrighty, and that was two cups. So you know that's going to serve what. That's going to make about four servings, four times you can, at least, with Jello and um, get some whipped cream, whip it up with your mixer, put some stevia in it, a little vanilla, and you've got an awesome treat, an awesome dessert. All right, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. That's the news I'm bringing for you today. Enjoy your Jello. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.